Hey, what's up, guys? So here I have my 2020, 20, wait, 2021 Mazda CX-5 signature, right? Not trying to flex or anything, but it's a pretty sweet car, all right? So come on in, let's take a look. So what we're doing today is I'm gonna be installing a dash cam and I recently purchased a product called Dongar, I think is how I pronounce it. Um, it's a pretty sweet adapter to just get rid of all these cables. I'm gonna try installing it with one of their Garmin products. So let me just show you how that's done and just follow me on this journey. This is the Dongar box um, and this is the dash cam that I'll be installing today. Uh, I believe you can still buy this. Oh, here we go. I believe you can still buy this on their website as a bundle kit. So you might wanna take a look at that. Um, so anyways, I've got that. I've already removed the contents of this box. So what this actually came with is this adapter right here um, and two cables, depending on what your uh, dash cam is. So it's a USB to a mini US, mini, I guess. And here, you guys can figure this out. And another USB to a micro right here. And so for this device, I just need a micro. So I'll be installing this and we'll have to figure out how to get this guy removed and installed uh, with the Donga device. In this car, um, I actually have the frameless mirror and I believe Mazda CX-5, the Grand Touring and the signature trims come with the frameless mirrors. Um, and if you don't have the frameless mirror, you might have buttons right here for the home link system. Or if you still are not sure if there's power running to it, you could just flip this up and look behind it and make sure that there's power running to the device. Uh, something to be noted, you cannot purchase this Dongar product and ex expect it to work if there's no power running to your device. So um, please make sure that, uh, yeah, we got, you know, we got cars around here, man. So uh, just make sure that there's power running to your mirror before installing this product. All right, so the first step we're gonna do is just tilt the mirror out of the way. So if you could just even flip it up a little bit, it's gonna make a huge difference. And here we can see that the cables are running to the device. And if you notice that there's two panels here, we have panel A and panel B. Don't quote me on this, but there are two panels here. And we're gonna to need to open this guy up in order to get to the connector that's behind this. Um, unfortunately, Mazda's connector is not right behind the mirror. So we do have to open this panel up in order to get to the uh, connector behind this. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, or at least I'm gonna figure it out myself right now. So let's do it. So for starters, the first thing I'm gonna be using is this. Uh, I'm using this because I don't want to scratch anything up. Uh, this is from just any tool kit or any minor phone kit that you might have around the house. Uh, I don't even know what this costs if you go to buy it by yourself, but maybe a dollar or two. So in any case, I'm gonna use this. And if I look at the line right here, I noticed that there's a notch at the very bottom right here. So I'm gonna start right there. So let's see if I can get to that. There we go. There we go. Okay, well, that was easier than I thought. Uh, and I guess let me just do that and split it apart. Oh, right on. Okay, well, this panel came off and this is what this looks like. So we have some clips right here, apparently that snap into this right here. And I guess we'll just put this aside and let's get this guy out, which might just, yep, there we go. And this panel looks something like this with clips right here that are seated into this spot right here and right there. So we have one, two, three, and four. All right, so after taking our unit off right here, this is the connector that we, want, we need access to for our Dongar product. Um, what we want to do is, well, first thing we need to do is just unclip this. Okay, and here you can see that this one is a, a 10 pin, and this is the product that I purchased from Dongar. And if you look at what I have here, give you a little backdrop so we have a 10 pin adapter so this will be going in here this will be our USB power receptacle and this is what the car will be seated into so let me just do that right now 
I'm simply gonna just take this connector and connect it like, oops, oops, it's upside down. There we go. You hear the click, the click's always the good stuff. Um, and then let's take this guy and pop that into that thing. And this is gonna be where we're gonna be getting our power from. So let me hook this up to the camera and make sure that it's getting power first before I put this all back together. So I'm gonna plug my device into the USB receptacle and see if I'm getting power to my device. So let's do that. Let me just, there we go. And if you have a Mazda CX-5 with at least the push button, maybe you all do, I don't know. Uh, do not depress the brake pedal, just simply tap or press the start button twice. And I believe that turns everything on. So, oh, here we go. Here we go. So it looks like my dash cam is starting. That's my garage. Sweet, welcome to my house. Um, and, awesome. Here we go. Looks like we're getting good power, so let's tidy up these cables and put this together. All right, so turns out the shorter cable is a little too short for these Mazda cars because the cables are routed this way and they come through a, a hole right here. As you can see from this, it's gonna have to be rerouted this way. So the cable, the original cable that we have, where'd I put it? Uh, well, it's just not the right length. So the Garmin actually comes with an extremely long cable. And not, I, I know this is not the most, the prettiest solution, but I mean, who's looking, right? Uh, but let's just, let's just, let's just get this installed for the sake of completing this installation process. So let me plug this in. So I, I released a little bit of slack. So I just have, I just need about 10 inches of this cable right now. So maybe down the road, I'll just buy one. Uh, we'll see. But for now, I'll just use this. I'll plug this in right here. I think it's in. And I'm gonna try to tuck this guy like that. And I will tuck this in here, which is, I, I, my vision right now is to have it seated like this. And the cable running this way, so, something like this. So for that, let me actually put, let me do this actually first, let's see. Let me go like that. See if I can slip this sky on. Okay. Alright, that can be something. Push this guy in. There. Put this in. And let me grab this panel right here. And see if I can just slip it on. Oh, there we go. Sweet. It's a bit of a tight spot, so just yeah, just be a little patient with this. But it actually looks pretty good, huh? Look at that. So let me hook this up. And you can see that it's a pretty clean fit. There's no movement or noise. Let me power the car back on. And voila, our Garmin device is on. So a bit of a tedious process switching the cables out, but overall, this is way cleaner than some of the other options. And there's no way I'm running cables across this entire cabin just to power this dash cam on. So. There you have it.